I'm here at a very busy Fujifilm booth to talk about GFX Eterna. You're watching Cinedy, supported by B&H and CVP. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Cinedy, and I'm here with Yuji-san. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, good to see you again. See you. And Makoto-san, how are you? Good, of course. Guys, really great to see you again. And we've been in, a, in here for a few days, and you announced more details about the upcoming GFX Eterna. So before we dive into the details, which I think are very interesting, maybe in terms of strategy of exposing a little bit and a little bit, why is that? Well, first of all, you know, we are developing the product as we speak. So we have a specification which we are targeting and aiming, but uh, we want to make sure we deliver all the things which we announce, right? So it's just we're releasing more as we build it. Okay, so literally some of the some of the features are being added as we speak. That's what are being implemented into the camera. Well, it's not like we're getting new ideas and implementing it. We already have a plan. But the good thing is we're actually getting a lot, lot of like new requests, and some of them may be possible from the beginning, you know, of the launch. Maybe some could be you know, added by firmware, some even, you know, accessories, optional things could be added later. And those things we are um, listening and seeing what is possible. So for us to announce, you know, the specs which are definitely fixed is very important. But at the same time, we also want to make sure, you know, when we complete the product that we are doing best we can. Is it okay to encourage our audience to still submit requests? <laughs> well, yes. Uh, I don't think we can make a miracle with the already, you know, developing uh, the camera. But those requests, uh, ideas, it'll be very helpful for us to look into the future as well. So yes, by all means, yes. Originally, you told me, as the audience, that you are aiming for a family of products with the GFX Eterna. This is still the case? Yeah, I mean, you know, what is family? But, the, you know... Two then, makes a family. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, yeah, we're not thinking this is the only camera. We all, you know, have invested in this um, category. So, uh, that is what we're going to be doing, yes. Makoto-san, I didn't forget you. Now let's talk a bit of the technicality. So you actually announced like 10 new features yeah. that you were willing to expose at that time. Let's uh, go quickly. Uh, and the first one was a low pass filter for this camera. Yeah. What is so special about low pass filter for anyone who is looking at this video and not so sure what it is? Yeah, because normally GFX doesn't have the optical low pass filter because uh, it's a still photography, right? Main, or basically. But uh, this one, the banner is uh, for filmmaking, right? So we want to reduce the risk of, you know, like moale and the false color. Yeah. Okay. So this one will be implemented. Next, you also expose new recording formats. So what the camera will record internally? It's based on the GFX 102 system, right? And uh, that support like several formats. And we, and uh, we also add the Super 35 for this Eterner. For, for example, this lens is Super 35, so... In general, to go from this very large format and, yeah. of course, very big sensor, how do you reduce to Super 35 or even uh, open gate? Yeah, no, because of this sensor has uh, so many, you know, like, leading mode or something like that. So we can, you know, optimize each format, like, to create, yeah, uh, each, you know, high-quality formats movie yeah should people still be concerned about rolling shutter or you think it will be uh, good for most type of work yeah so some of formats uh, doesn't support the high speed rolling but your yeah, main like a 4k and open gate uh, has a yeah really good rolling speed i think i don't want to go into numbers right now because anyway we're gonna check it in our lab when the camera is available and we've uh, um, has the final firmware. So, um, just that I got it right, if somebody wants to record the RAW, it has to be done only externally. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, no in-camera RAW recording. So, it's just, uh, yeah, only external. So, you also announced, and this is actually, for me, the most exciting stuff, uh, the ability 
to create recipes for your film simulation. Can you explain exactly what it is? So the, this camera also supports the loading of the 3D lots up to 16 files. And also we decide as a Fujifilm, so create the new film simulation 3D lot. Will those, will be only like people will create their own lots or you will be, you yourself will create new, new lots? Yes, of course, yeah. Of course, that is a you know, big purpose to create a 3D lot. 3D lot, okay, good. I'm looking forward for that. What else? Uh, in terms of connectivity, what would you have? So, uh, Etana also supports the Wi-Fi and uh, Ethernet as well. Like, so we have a remote rec function. That's a browser-based remote control software. So, you can, yeah, that's enabled to, you know, control remotely, not only the focus, iris, or any kind of functionality. I mean, I have to talk a little bit about open gate recording. It's not only for anamorphic, but streaming later in post-production, different aspect ratio. But in order to help the users, are you, offer, are you offering any uh, guidelines or overlays? Yes. So, yeah, I already have a big request from users. So to yeah, set their own custom, you know, guidelines. So we prepared the three types of, you know, guidelines and the overlay. So for now you have three, but will you enhance it later if some more requests are coming? Because from what I remember, like 9, nine by 16 is still missing. Will you consider to add something like this? No, we, we have a custom option. So a user can, you know, custom any, any kind of aspect ratio. Very easy, very nice. Yuji-san. Yes. You know, the elephant in the room is always the price and availability mm -hmm. because since we talked I first talked about the camera, it was uh, November 2024. Many things have changed in our industry. More, comings are com more cameras are coming and being introduced. Prices are going down. The competition is very fierce. Is there anything you can sh share with our audience when it comes to pricing and availability? I wish I could, but um, we really haven't uh, decided on, on the pricing. Uh, we're still working on the development. So uh, based on you know what the camera will be and yeah, as you said, depending on all the circumstances, we will set the price um, when we are ready to announce. If I can add a personal request, try to make it, please, um, an end-user camera and not only a rental height item, because then, of course, it means it will be more like uh, easier to, 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 to deal with. Yes, that is exactly our intention. Great. Makoto-san, anything... Uh, technically speaking, that you announced and I forgot to mention, which is important for you. Uh, okay, so, we are Fujifilm. So this camera supports uh, 20 types of film simulations. That's big things, right? So, it, it's actually, I like it, you're positioning yourself as the color company, because that's very, one of your strengths. Yes, exactly. Good. Yuji-san, anything that I forgot or anything that you would like to add? Um, I don't think uh, you forgot anything. You already asked about the availability and price, so you've done a good job. <laughs> but You know, I, I, we, we all know how it's going to be <laughs> because people are really, they want to know more. I mean, I can't blame them. This camera is being teased since November, yeah. and I think people want to make a decision. Yes, I'm not blaming you either, so <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to yeah, announcing it as well, you know. Okay. But we're still on, on, on track to release this camera within this year, so that hasn't changed. Yeah, that's, you know, that's okay. we've been saying uh, from the beginning, right? It's going to be launched within 2025, so that hasn't changed. Just as a side note, because I think it was a few days ago we published kind of a poll, because it's already six months into the year, and only when I made the poll asking the people what camera impressed you so far, I actually saw that you guys were so busy with so many models, yeah? Um, are we going to see more cameras coming? Besides the Eterna, this is like a general question. Should we expect more cameras to come within this year? Uh, yes. <laughs> I love the detailed answer. <laughs> I mean, we, we, you have the X Summit coming up in Shanghai, so I guess the team will go there in order to announce something. Uh, that's the last summit this year? Uh, say that again? Is that the last summit uh, in Shanghai that will be the last summit this year? Uh, we, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Okay. Good. Guys, I tried my best. 
I think we got most of the answers, especially on, uh, we are covered on the te technical specifications. And for the rest, we simply have to be a bit more patient. <laughs> Yuji-san, thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. you. Makoto-san, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.